And here we have the burner inside a fairly tight cowl. It cools incredibly well. If you come up here and look inside, you'll see there's inner cylinder baffles between each cylinder, which helps direct the air around the fins. It takes it up over the heads, help cool the intake tubes, the exhaust, and everything. The Werner is a, a dry sump engine like most radials, but it is a gravity feed oil system, meaning the oil, just like a Lycoming Continental, gets in the engine, down in the case, and drains through a one inch nice blue hose here that drains right into the oil tank. The thing with the Werner, though, being gravity fed, is you need the oil tank lower than the engine. And so what I did, since I cowled it, is I wanted it to look like, have a nice look to it, so my oil tank that holds 14 quarts, I run about nine in it, so there's plenty of expansion room, actually sits down here, which looks like an air scoop for the carburetor, but it really isn't. It actually helps cool the oil tank, and as you can see, kind of painted up to match. And it actually made the airplane look better and then it gave some depth to the cowl too, so it actually makes the cowl look a little bigger. And this, this is really a nice setup. I also, if you come down and take a look, I also have Right here is drains for the exhaust system, the lowest part of the exhaust, so if any oil collects, it'll drain out, and the provided with the engine intake drain, because one of the, this cylinder here has a low intake tube, you don't want a glob of oil when it starts to suck up and create a hydraulic lock in the cylinder. So anyway, I've got the two drains here, so my normal standard procedure is I'll pull it through here about six or seven um, blades. Make sure I get more than two full revolutions. Best if you do three or four. Make sure there's nothing draining out and then close them. So if you watch here, I'm gonna go and I just, the first thing you wanna do is never force it through. If it comes up hard and you can't get it through, don't bend a rod, try it. Back it off, pull the rear spark plug, see if you get oil drained out. I've never really had that much trouble with this engine, it's not been a hydraulic engine, but I still religiously feel each cylinder. You'll hear little pops now and then. It's just standard on the Werner, and, and, and it's also on a Pratt Whitney. You'll hear the oil, oil valves, or when it opens, it'll pop a little bit, and it's pretty normal to hear that every now and then. Once you get a few revolutions, now you've gone through every cylinder, then you get a little more aggressive. I always treat it as if it's hot, though. Oh, I've never had a kick or anything. In other words, the, if the ignition was on, I have elect it's electronic ign ignition, so I have it set up with both toggle switches and circuit breakers. I always pull the circuit breakers also, so I've kind of double made sure that the ignition, once I get that, I like to come down against compression, then back it up a little, so when the starter hits, it gets a good run. Now I close the one. That's the intake, just finger snug, and then I get rid of that drain. Do end up with a little oil on the finger, got a little rag, clean it up, and it's ready to start. First thing I do is I turn on the master switch, fuel pump, make sure the throttle's closed, and then I just bump it forward fairly. Ignition on, I got the circuit breakers off the ignition. Clear prop, I prime it with the primer button for about one second. Hit the starter. 